So JDS Embassy Suites is obviously an Embassy Suites. It's gonna be a nine story hotel. So this project is different, mostly because of the cold form metal panels that we're, we're utilizing through Blue Vera. We have a system of wall and deck panels that are prefabricated in St. Paul and then shipped to the site and set. Here, all of that has to be coordinated in advance because everything is a structural member, essentially. So by building in a panelized system, it rapidly improves your schedule. So to build a guest room, it's five wall panels, one floor panel. You can create your guest room a lot faster than it would take in a traditional stick build. The first step is really the layout, and that is one of the most critical. But after that, it's literally getting the, the panels here from Blue Vera, flying them off a truck, setting them into place. At that point, we brace them off so that they stand independently, if you will. And then the next panel comes in, we set that. The next panel comes in, set that. But once we have a, a floor plan set out with the wall panels, we fly in the deck panels and they drop into place. They're screwed off. The next panel comes in, drops into place. So it's very efficient from that standpoint. So using the Blue Vera panel system is, is great because that's just one less type of material that we have sitting around on site that we have to worry about getting damaged or taking up space that, that we need. So this building has a, a little bit of an odd shape. It's not square. It does have a very monumental radius on the front. Their vision was to be able to look down the street and see these two buildings gently curved around this piece of artwork or sculpture in this island. Rather than actually producing a curvature of the panels themselves, the panels are actually, they're, they're built straight and then they're placed segmented to mimic that curvature. So it definitely poses some challenges. Layout is extremely important, so you gotta make sure you, you're on top of that. This is the Blue Vera Manufacturing Facility here in St. Paul. This is where we do all of our roll forming for panels, as well as panel production takes place in this facility here. So you have a lot of different operations that take place here. We're bringing in raw material from the mill in flat strips that gets roll formed into studs, which we assemble into kits, which go to our production lines to be assembled. In the case of Judge Doyle Square, our exterior panels not only have the framing, but they also have sheathing, air barrier, windows, flashing, girts, and also insulation. So really for us, the process starts with a coil of material that's like a ribbon. That gets fed into a machine that rolls it up into that stud shape. The stud shape like a C, and the machine will roll it into that shape. Every panel that we produce here is designed from the ground up, so there's really a very specific guideline for what each stud needs to be within each panel. The process would start with framing, and then after the framing stage, it would move down the line to where sheathing's installed. Sheathing gets put on the panel, QC process takes place after each stage, and then you would move on to air barrier. And then you would have girts and insulation, window installation. At that point, potentially, if it has an exterior finish, it would go to a different area to have the exterior finish applied. On the case of Judge Doyle Square, they get tipped vertical and put into a rack to be shipped to the job site. Typically, each production line will be producing three to four panels every day. Simple panels, it might be 10. Really complex panels, it might be two. But on average, it's, it's three to four panels per production line. So if you think we've got five production lines running for various projects at any given time, we're, we're pumping multiple trucks out every single day. Blue Vera's mantra is safer, faster, more predictable. And everything we do here really directly addresses that. In the case of a window installation, safer means you have a vacuum lift, you're not lifting the window by hand. So it's a machine and a crane is lifting it into place and dropping it down. So it's safer. From an installation standpoint as well, you're not on a ladder and a boom lift, you're flat on a surface. So you're putting screws down into the panel where they need to be installed. Instead of doing it overhead, ergonomically that's better, much safer. And it provides a more predictable installation. We have better visibility about what's going on above and below at the same time. If you're on the outside of the building, you can't see the, the other side, whereas we can. So from a quality standpoint, it provides better results in the end.